five and out. Showtime tool, very important, five and out. Working with hitters, working with pitchers. Let's not practice cardio hitting. Cardio hitting means that you're giving a hitting lesson and that hitter is in there taking 15 or 20 swings before they get tired or you decide to give them a break. In a typical game situation, how many pitches does a hitter actually see? And from a, a pitching standpoint, how many pitches does a young pitcher throw in, in a typical at bat? We'll use five as, as the average. So when, when, you know, when, when you see a senior instructor saying five and out, uh, make sure that you're getting the young hitter. And it really all you're looking for them to do is to just reset themselves. That after taking the five swings, let them step back out again, give them a second or two, kind of cleanse themselves and, 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 and refresh, and for them to come back in and be ready to hit again. No different than on the mound, right? With, during a pitching lesson, after the fifth throw, right? Let the young pitcher step off, come back out onto the mound, and go through the routine, right? That personal routine that you and he have talked about, whether it's standing on that mound, taking the deep breath, having the finger wiggle, plugging in the self-talk, legs first, rag loose forearms before they begin again. Five and out really allows them to, to practice in the same game time or game dynamics that they'll have later on. The quad up, quad up, there's the hand gesture for that, quad up, when we're working with hitters, right? Um, we're going to measure up, if we had the plate, we know that we're gonna be setting up on the inside of the plate, we're gonna square up, Again, for the younger players, let them actually look down and take the bat, make sure that those feet aren't flexed out, that the ducks, duck feet, as we say, are gone. The third quad of up is making sure that the TV is up, knowing that the head, as we call it the camera, has to be up and out, and making sure that the nose, to the extent that their flexibility allows, is completely turned so that we're truly perpendicular to the pitcher's mound. And the last up in our quad up as we get ready to, to build routines is really our confidence level and our focus. Kan fu is a word that we created when we're, when we're talking with hitters, that their confidence level has to be sky high, that they truly believe at, that, at this point that, that they're ready and that they're prepared and they're going to have a good at bat and their focus level is now on the baseball. They're not focusing on their batting average, the distractions from the bench, that there's a runner on third base, right? Kan Fu says confidence level, and we'll talk about, and we've mentioned before about the movements and how really dance in your stance, playing the piano, those are showtime tools. Reminders that the need to be physically relaxed has to happen before we get ready to swing. So Kan Fu, or quad up, excuse me, right, is a showtime tool that we're gonna measure up, we're gonna square up, we're gonna TV up, and then the last component is our confidence and focus level is where it needs to be. That our confidence level, we're feeling good, we've plugged in the self-talk, and now, as it relates to hitting, it's all about seeing and reading the ball. 